also on tonight's programme. Hugh, many thanks. The closure of Scottish police call centres will be put on hold after an inquiry into the deaths of two people in a car crash. Lamar Bell and John Yule were left in their car for three days, even though a member of the public had called 999. The inquiry found there were staff shortages and problems with the way emergency calls were handled, as Lorna Gordon reports. The time is 19 minutes past six, our top story this evening. China has staged a massive military parade in Beijing to mark 70 years since the defeat of Japan in the Second World War. 12,000 Chinese troops marched through Tiananmen Square, accompanied by tanks and intercontinental ballistic missiles. Despite this, President Xi Jinping insisted China would not use its power to exert undue domination. He also said the armed forces would be reduced by 300,000. Our China editor Carrie Gracie reports. Now, he's known as the Naked Rambler and he's just been released from prison after serving half of a 30-month sentence. But Stephen Goff says he has no intention of covering up, even if it means a return to jail where he's already spent a total of 10 years. He's been speaking exclusively to our legal correspondent, Clive Coleman. Well, let's go back now to Hugh Edwards, who's in Budapest for us. Hugh. 